to Wonderfest TV. I'm still Kat. I'm still Arlene. And we're here with our very first guest, Heather Brissenden. She's beautiful. She's lovely. Oh. Look at the aura about you. Look at the oh. energy just emanating. Give Thank the people you. your energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you it. so beautiful. much for being Thank here with us. Oh my gosh. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, of yeah, course. We were chatting about you in our um, opening segment of how um, you're just this aura of empowerment yourself because you because oh. you're very um helpful and you you encourage a lot of people even you know there's nothing um you're asking from us it's just like out of the kindness of your heart and you're a huge networker as well so thank you so much for taking very the time generous very today. like a ball of love yeah, oh, yeah we have you. all the love for you i have all the love for you oh too oh my gosh <laughs> can we just have a second then cheers ladies yeah, let's cheers. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> all right look, look in the eye look in the eye you have to look in the eye mm. Oh, oh, because of the it's old thing? Because it's the lock. If you cheers, you're supposed to look everybody in the eye. Otherwise, right. you don't really yes. mean it. That's right. Oh, so sorry. that's like a fake cheer. I just learned that that's now. That's like, I learned that now, so we don't know. Yes. Anyway. Any Hooters, on to you, Heather. Music. Music. It's a huge part of your life. Yes. How does music affect your life, and how does life affect your music? I think everything is about music, so in my heart. So... Pretty much, it, it just is my source of joy. I wish I could just sing all day long. Love it. Um, I'm blessed to be fiancé with Matt Zadkovich, and we live in a house filled with music. Oh. And uh, I perform regularly throughout the GTA um, as a solo artist, as a part of a duo with Windmill Theater. Um, and pretty much I've been singing for over 20 years now since I was a small child. I so love it. It's a uh, you know, huge part of my life and it's the inspiration um, that keeps me going in all aspects. Amazing. It's just like my shining light. It's like the thing that motivates me so much and gives me inspiration and just gives me courage. It's always been that. And so can you talk about a time like where it's given you courage, yes. where you've had a challenge in your life and music yes. has pulled you through? Totally. Yeah. So I don't talk about this a lot, but I was very bullied as an 11 year old child. Mm. Um, really, really bad. And I didn't know how to deal with it at all. I think it was a, a lot less, it was more taboo back then. Right. So really I was um, in grade seven and I remember uh, I was really into making my own clothes. I made all these crazy outfits, and then I was so bullied because the kids at school were like, what's that? These weird outfits you're making, and I was just so Heather. And I was like, these are my colorful outfits I made by myself. Very like Joseph with the Amazing Technicolor Dream I Coat. I love but that. But that's so amazing. It was amazing. It's so um, amazing. And that was my true self, but I remember being really bullied, and like, Biggie was popular, and like Adidas, and I remember saying to a girl, no, 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 Adidas aren't in style, it's patent leather. <laughs> So, so with that, yes. Oh, so with that, um, like, did that stop you um, from creating because of what they said, or well, did you um, push through that and be like, hey, you know what? Well, I'm just gonna uh, get new friends. It was like my life was split in two. So like during the day, I was dirty, bullied. So I, it was like breaking me up inside, and I didn't know. I didn't have the coping skills to know how to like deal with my bullies or express how I'm feeling to my parents properly. So I was pretty depressed and like struggling really bad. But then at the same time in my life, I was starting to sing and I was competing. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, in the evenings I was winning singing competitions and really shining and growing in, like, in that aspect of my life and finding my voice. But then I was bullied so bad during the day. So it got to a point where I, my parents actually changed schools, which might not have been the best thing because uh, I wasn't learning proper conflict resolution skills. Mm. Oh, right. But I did change schools, and then I started singing right away with that school. I was with St. Mark, and our school got into Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat downtown at the Cannon Perfect Theater story. with Donny Osmond. So it was like I was coming out of this horrible time, but I was just singing, and like that was like my thing that kept me going. And if it hadn't have been for that, I don't know what would have happened to me. Oh, and amazing. I haven't yet started to do work with youth really about helping them with bullying but right. I think that's really a strong mission of mine to say to kids yeah. I've been through that too because it can be bad when you're a kid in schools everything and you're not accepted by your friends like it was so hard so I think that I would always fight back by singing and then it was like I got into Joseph and I was doing professional shows downtown we were making money I was doing gigs seven shows a week with professional people, I was oh my live event. So then okay. going to we, high school, I, have to I just tell kind you right of, now. We just have I'm a sorry. few seconds we gotta go. left. Yes. No, I want to hear you sing right now. Yeah. Okay. I, like this is just like yeah, sure. fueling exactly. me. So let's okay. get to it, shall we? Sure. Okay. 
I love it. We're gonna we're gonna hear a song by Heather Vissenden. It's gonna be a Very delight. Excited. Love it. <laughs> 